of cybersecurity, of defense, and indeed in a world where AI is helping and hindering with all of that. We want to talk with Lady Betts, CEO at Deep Instinct, and of course you yourself were former CEO of Palo Alto Networks. We were just hearing about some of the yes. chat earnings that aren't living up to expectations. Even though there seems to be this rampant demand for cyber protection in the here and now, what do you make of the fact that Palo Alto Networks, for example, isn't managing to lean into perhaps that growth in that particular area? Well, I can't say that they're not leaning into the growth. Uh, first of all, I, I have to commend uh, Nikesh and the team there. What they've done with the company post my time there has been uh, very good. Uh, the, the focus of Palo Alto is a platform play. And the platform play is to really give you a protection around accessing your infrastructure uh, and the threats that might hit it. Um, the other aspects uh, are how do you guard the door? But the platform pro players are going broad, they're not going deep, and that's where the AI focus needs to come in. Uh, deep Instinct uh, uh, goes deep, and uh, as you can appreciate, uh, I got off my bench to do this because the challenge of AI is really becoming paramount. One thing we've reflected on um, this year is that when we're talking about AI in the context of cybersecurity, it's as much yes. a tool for the threat actors as it is for your customers, right? People trying to ward against cyber threats. Um, who is making the most progress, the threat actors or those trying to defend against them? Well, I think a lot of people were caught off guard. Many of the platform players have machine learning models. But to really get ahead of the threat actors, you have to have the more sophisticated technology. It's a thing called deep learning. And I won't get into the specific science of it, but it acts similar to a brain in the fact that you've got countless, in fact, infinity parameters that you're checking against. So you can create a predictive capability and get out ahead of the actors. A deep instinct's been developing this capability for 10 years. AI became in vogue in terms of the things you could do from a Salesforce enhancement, customer support enhancement. A lot of the uh, security companies, including some of the ones you noted, were still focused on broadening their coverage, but not going deep into the more advanced, sophisticated deep learning algorithms. That's what we do with the 99% efficacy. But the main challenge right now is protecting data. So everybody's looking to protect data Everybody's looking to attack the data. You can't fight fire unless you have fire to fight fire. And deep learning is going to be the answer that most of the security uh, companies and platform players are going to have to focus on. That's what we focus from ground up 100%. Your choice of words there, very interesting. 24 hours ago, we had the Rubrik CEO, your industry colleague on, uh, before Sin yes. here on the show. Have a listen yes. to what he said. Be people well. Cyber attacks have gone beyond human comprehension. You have to fight fire with fire. And as attackers are leveraging AI to generate more codes to actually attack you, you have to apply AI to understand what the heck is really going on. You, uh, you, you guys are yes. changing notes <laughs> for the... Uh, no, for the no, show. actually... Bipple is a, is a, is a, he's a very good friend. Uh, in fact, I'm an investor in Rubrik, so, and they're addressing the very big challenge, storage recovery. And uh, it's something that got, went unnoticed for a long time. It's something we focus heavily on. There are people who are focusing on the EDR, the endpoint, CrowdStrike, Sentinel-1. They almost accept the fact that you're going to have a breach, and then they help you clean it up. You cannot accept the breach anymore. You have to get out ahead of it. And uh, I and Dipo uh, share a lot of views. But the secret is in the technology and the uniqueness of the deep learning framework work. And, and let's talk about, therefore, prevention having to take center stage rather than just yes. dealing with the aftermath. I mean, we are at the heart of technology show. What is it about deep learning that can go there unlike other applications that we're seeing from rivals or indeed AI more broadly? Yes. Rivals and most security companies are using the AI term very loosely, and they focus on machine learning. These are models that are made by humans and trained, trained on millions of feeds. Um, but at the end of the day, the models are only as sophisticated as the people who design them. The algorithms are not sophisticated. And the best comparison is compare 
if you would, um, uh, chat GPT to text, deep learning, deep instinct to cybersecurity. It's that level of quantum leap. Interesting use of analogies there. We really appreciate some of the time that we've just had with you. Invest, yes. Deep instinct CEO and similarly investor in all areas of cybersecurity and AI applications. <laughs> we thank you so much for your time. Meanwhile, coming up, we're going to talk about more of investment, particularly in the world of AI. Menno Ventures raising $1.3 billion too.